Hey y'all, at the Grand 2012, nailing some hot cars. And what I've got here is a prototype from GM. It's a 2002 Avalade, which uh, at one time it was being considered for the 2003 or the 2013 Corvette. They made 25 of them, but they only made 11 with the split window. Yeah, go figure. You'd have thought they'd have learned from the first time about that split window. But anyways, it's a cool looking car. And my buddy Phil, he's here representing this car too. And uh, we're gonna take a look at it. Let me run him down. Phil, how are you, brother? Hey, good seeing you again, Scotty. Today we're looking at a 2002 Corvette Avalade. They made 27 of them. Some were coupes, some were uh, rag tops, and there was only 11 split windows. This is number 11, the black and red. And we also have another one in the shop in St. Augustine, Florida, which is a blue one, and that's number five. Oh, wow. This one here is GM Bill. Um, it costs 64 two. When this came out, it was about a $75,000 car. Right. Okay. It's got 6,000 or 4,700 miles on it. It's got an LS1 in it. Okay. This is another sweet car. As you can see by the line, we usually park this next to new vets. Right. And people think it's a 2013, 2014 next year. Right, no right, vet. right. But it's a 2002. There's right. only 11 of these. There's a wow. museum in Bowling Greens, Kentucky. It's a Corvette museum. They don't even have one. No kidding. No, nope. and they're thinking about maybe coming out with this in 2015. We'll see if it's even close. Right, right. Cool. Um, you want to take a look at this around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The side. Is there anything special under the hood? Uh, just an LS1. Okay. Okay, I can pop the truck. Yeah. You can take a look at that. Yeah. Heads up display. It's unique. That's why I'm shooting it. Get the yeah, yeah, take your time. Right? Take your time, folks. Ain't like we're trying to make a video here. <laughs> Look at this nose on this thing. That's pretty crazy. And it's got the stinger hood on it. I like that. I don't know about my overall impression of the car, but... Hey, there we are, Scotty. We All got right. it. <laughs> trying to see what a... Yeah. There it is. Okay. Sorry, I'm bouncing around, folks, but I'm trying to trying to uh, do the best I can on this deal. There you go, LS1. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. That's clean. Yeah, Don't it's have no miles clean. on it. Yeah. Yep, not many. All right. Less than five thousand. How long miles. have y'all had it? We've had it. Uh, I'm gonna say seven, eight months. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> we also got a blue one. Right. Uh, this top comes off, goes in the back. Right. As you can hardly, you know, it, it's a... Right, it's hard top. Roof, yeah. yeah. And then see. it's got the split window in the back. It's got the 63 style split window in the back and a couple, you know, and they kind of size the 58 to 60s. Right. See a little bit of 65 in here, right, 64. Right, right. But it's a beautiful car. No, it is nice. Nice. Look at how they did the bumpers in it. Oh, yeah. Kind of looks like bumpers, but they're not bumpers, right? Right. Yeah. Well, in the old ones, they had the small right. chrome ones, right, the short right. ones right, right there, but yeah. It's fashioned after that. Right. Want to so hear it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we want to hear it. Okay. It's a car channel, brother. All right. We like to hear it. That's cool, man. Those LS motors sound great, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. That good. That's good, brother. That sounds good. Can you give me? There you go. Like I said, we got to pull one of these. Automatically adjust when you get in there. Right. It's got settings. Right. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's Big huge, hatch. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice. lot of room in there. Yeah, there is a lot of room in there. A lot more than the '63. Yeah, for sure. And it all opens up, so you can get in and get out. Accessibility. You can get in, get yeah. Out. You can take the top piece off, slide it in here. There's cover for that. Right. And that's what these little these hold it here. These little brackets. Uh. Those. These brackets, Ron, yes. Yeah, they, they hold it. That's what they're for. Yeah. Yep. And that's probably got a receiver over on this side somewhere, somehow. Cool. 
This is Ron right here, the owner. Ron, CCC. how are you, brother? Good. You good. good. This is your car? Uh, one of them. All yeah. right. Yeah. How many you got? Uh, I've got actually two of these. Two of these. Yeah. You got them both for sale? Uh, no. No, the just blue the one. one is not. This one I bought from a friend uh, who was moving to Arizona. Called me up and asked me if I was interested in it. And I right. Said, Absolutely. Sure. Can't I'll have take, too many I'll of these. Take everyone I can yeah, get. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. There's only nice what car. eleven of them to have total, yeah, right? Right. Cool. Well, fellas, I appreciate it, man. That is, uh, it's unique. I didn't even, I wasn't even aware of that car. So I'm glad I caught y'all down here and could shoot a video. <coughs> you stop by, Scott. Yeah. Would you do me a favor and close it up and let me do a walk around on it? Will do. Look at that. This guy's got some cool cars, man. He's got this, he's got that Mustang. And it's kind of growing on me. I think after a day or two, I'd really like this car. Not that I don't like it. I just think that uh, after a day or two, it would grow on me. I like that Stinger hood. I keep saying that, but I really like that Stinger hood. I like these, these here, too. I like how they put those in the side. Well, there you go, 2002, Avalet. 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 Cool car. I think you only see one of these every now and then. I found one at the Grand 2012. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya.